Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome to another edition of Toy Review Tuesday right here on Movement Radio. I am Chip Hazard, and today we've got another unboxing. Uh, recently went out on um, a toy hunt, got a lot, a lot of cool stuff, uh, got a video of everything that I picked up um, coming out very soon, uh, but this is one of the things that I most recently picked up and I grabbed the Arkham Knight Red Hood. Uh, this is from Batman Arkham Knight. Um, super cool figure. I, I think I have two other Red Hood figures. I'll display those here in just a minute. Um, but... If you don't know who uh, Red Hood is, uh, Red Hood is the alter ego of Jason Todd, who was murdered by the Joker. Mm. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get right into this. Uh, obviously, front of the box, we got the side view here with, um, you, you can see... You know some of the accessories and the name Red Hood. There's the back. Some really cool artwork there. I think. Um, then the uh, the name panel here. Uh, so, without further ado, let's just open this uh, bad boy up. Let's. They got me on this one. They added a couple of pieces. Come on. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's fool you, Chip. All right. Let's take the figure out. Set it to the side. Pull this out. Obviously, we don't need that. Let's uh, grab the card and... The base, um, we don't need that. Uh, as you all know, I uh, collect all the cards from the McFarlane action figures. So uh, on the back of this one, Red Hood, real name Jason Todd, says it's vanishing the Arkham Knight persona or vanquishing the Arkham Knight persona, Jason Todd was able to lay his vengeance against Batman to rest and begin to heal the damage that was inflicted on him in Arkham Asylum. It was during this recovery that Red Hood was born. Now, while he is uh, once again aligned with his former mentor in wanting to rid Gotham City of its criminal contingent, Jason's Todd, Jason Todd's... Uh, Proclivity for capital punishment will forever keep them at odds. So, yes, he is part of the Bat family. Let's go ahead and slide this bad boy right in and set this to the side. As always, we will start with the accessories first. Tape. All right, we get one set of hands. And then we get some fire stuff here. Um, and while we're at it, we'll go ahead and let's make the wonderful clamshell noise and get Red Hood out. And off to the side. Figure over here because, as always, we go with the accessories first. Uh, first accessory is just this little bit of uh, fire. Figure out where that goes here in just a minute. Uh, another is this mm, some sort of fire, maybe a shuriken that's ablaze or whatnot. And then we have the set of hands that are designed to hold 
guns. Uh, however, if you know anything about the McFarlane figures, they do not come with firearms. Now, on to the main event. Um, this is the Arkham Knight version of Red Hood. Uh, so, as always, we'll do articulation. The head has absolutely zero articulation. No front to back, no side to side, none of that. Uh, his jacket does not come off, so you're not going to gain any movement in, in the head. Uh, but he does have on the mask, so it doesn't really matter. Um, because there's no facial features or eyes to do or, or to see. Um, now, the, the vest is not a full piece. The sleeves stop here, so you do get, you know, a good T-pose. You get, you know, movement here, there. There is, you know, at the upper shoulder bicep area, you, you get some spin. So, and then it's the double jointed elbows, so you get you know, really good bend there. Uh, typical wrist movement. Little, not a whole lot of back and forth. Uh, but that's because of this sleeve, I believe. And it's the same on the other. You know, you get the spin, but not a lot of play either way. Uh, it's got the double-jointed knees. So, you know, good, good uh, articulation there. Uh, there is... A little in the, the torso area you got you know good hip swivel side to side so that's good uh, about that far in the front not so far in the back um, got a little hindrance here on that uh, the coloring the coloring is great I, I really really like that the coloring with the the gray red and black there's a lot of detail in here with the zipper i wish the camera would pick it up better but the zipper and then you have his pouches here uh that that are good you know good detail uh, you have some grenades here and here uh extra magazines for the guns that uh are, are not with the or the i'm sorry the firearms that are not with the figure extra magazines on each side um so but all in all i, I think this is a a really cool figure uh let's Let's see how, what do we have? I'm not even really sure. Uh, I threw the box over here. Let's see if there's any indication as to what. Mm, give me just a second. Yeah, no, no real indication as to, to what to do with these. Uh, I'm not sure. That I would use them anyway. Maybe something like this on that side. Uh, but this one, I don't know. You know, come off of here maybe. I don't know. Mm, maybe do that and then switch out. I don't really want to switch out the, the hand either because... I think that just looks weird not having a firearm in it. Um, maybe I'll 
find some some firearms or something to to replace it with um but in comparison to the other uh red hoods so this is the arkham knight version of the red hood um right here is the gotham knights version And this is the Three Jokers version of Red Hood. Uh, so as you can see, there's three distinct different versions of this character. Um, this Red Hood came, or I'm sorry, this Red Hood came with a crowbar. Um, this Red Hood came with these hands that kind of make a firearm um, shape. Um, but yeah, I uh, I enjoy I, I like all three uh, for different reasons. Uh, this one has more of the glossy helmet. Um, this one is uh, a more modern ish take. He's got the the helmet, but he also has a hood on his jacket. This one. Um, Honestly, this one looks more dare, not Daredevil, uh, Deadpool esque, uh, in the, in the designing of it, uh, and I don't know why that is, but I uh, those are the three versions of Red Hood that I have. I know there is an unmasked version that I do not have uh, that I am looking for. I think I saw it on Entertainment Earth, um, so I'm, I'm going to look there and uh, maybe order it if I can't find it out in the wild, uh, but speaking of Entertainment Earth, uh, in the description below, there is a link that will get you 10% off all in-stock items, um, which is which is really good. Um so it's 10% off and free shipping uh, within the United States. Sorry to all of our UK and other countries that follow us. We're working on getting that code expanded so we can offer that same deal to you. Uh, so let me know what you think of the Arkham Knight version of Red Hood. Uh, which versions of the Red Hood do you have or are you looking for? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I am Chip Hazard and this is Movement Radio. Peace.